I've been following a social media post on the Kimber Micro 9 and one of the posts suggested that he hadn't seen a review between the Kimber Micro 9 and the Kimber Ultra Carry 2. Uh, they're both 9 millimeters. they both have a 3 inch or approximately 3 inch barrel length. He thought that would make a good comparison. So, Riders Range is never one to miss the opportunity to shoot guns or shoot videos. So, here we go. The Kimber Ultra Carry 2 in 9mm. I've had this one around for a little while, but we also have the Kimber Micro 9. This is the Nightfall Edition. And uh, these are, are both, um, I call them 3-inch barrels. Kimber calls this one a 3.15 inch barrel, and this is a 3-inch barrel. Now the uh, this is just one of about 16 different models in the Kimber catalog for the uh, Micro 9. This is the Nightfall Edition, and uh, this is uh, a little more than their entry level, which is uh, about a $650 gun. They go all the way up to more than $1,000. The Ultra Carry, I believe there's eight or nine models in the current catalog. They run from somewhere in the mid-800 bracket to almost double that for their top of the line. So, again, two very similar pistols in many ways, three-inch barrel uh, being just one of them. And if you put them side by side, they're fairly close. Although you can see the slide on the Ultra Carry is just a hair longer, uh, even though the barrels are the same length. The profiles are pretty close width-wise, but you can see the significant difference is in the grip length. The Ultra Carry 2 is an 8 plus 1. The uh, Micro Carry is a 6 plus 1 with a flush magazine or a 7 plus 1 with the extended magazine. It comes with an extended magazine, as some of them do. And when you put the extended magazine on the micro, you're real close to uh, within about a half an inch of the uh, actual grip length of the Ultra Carry. Although you can still see the profile is a little different, so you know that the Ultra Carry is going to hide just a little bit better. And one way to make it hide just a fraction better is by using a SIG 938 mag. Now these do have to be modified a little bit so that the uh, uh, extension will fit into a, a Kimber. Uh, but the rounded profile on the back uh, actually makes it just a little bit easier to carry. Now you notice the grips on this also aren't standard. The Nightfall comes with a Hogue wraparound grip um, and not, not my most favorite grip so therefore I put Stoner CNC Starburst grips on this gun and really like the way they feel. The Ultra Carry also comes with rosewood grips. Uh, these have cool hand G10 grips. Uh, these are slim grips to give it a nice slim grip profile. Big difference in these guns other than the size is the weight. The Micro 9 with 7 plus 1 in it of 124 grain ammo comes out to 21.6 ounces. The Ultra Carry with 8 plus 1 comes out to 32 point, excuse me, 31.2 ounces. I get about a half a pound more for this gun to get that extra one round out of it. Trigger is also where these are somewhat separated, and you can see these uh, these guns are empty. They have been safety inspected. The trigger on the Micro 9 is a pivoting trigger. It's not a sliding trigger like the uh, like a regular 1911. And depending on where you put the the gauge on this, if you put it at the very bottom and pull, it's going to give you one weight. If you put it at the middle and pull, because it's a pivoting trigger and you have a different fulcrum point, it's going to give you a different average. Uh, with the trigger gauge at the bottom of the trigger, which is, by the way, where my finger feels the most pressure on it, this averages over a 5-pound pull of 4 pounds, 12 ounces. If you put it at the middle of the trigger, it comes out to an average over 5 pounds of 7 pounds, 2 ounces. So a difference just because of how that particular trigger works. The Ultra, on the other hand, is a sliding trigger, typical 1911. doesn't matter where you put the trigger gauge. Over a 5-pound pull, I come out with a 4-pound, four 4-ounce 4 average on this particular gun. We'll see a couple other similarities or differences. Back straps are checkered on both. Back straps are, or front straps are plain on both. However, you'll notice there is some texture on the Ultra Carry. It's because I put some clear skateboard tape on it. This was my carry gun for a while and I wanted just a little better traction on the front. One other significant difference, the safety is uh, on the Ultra Carry is typical 1911 and does lock the slide as well as the trigger. The safety on the Micro 9 is a trigger safety only does not lock the slide. So again, this uh, the Ultra, excuse me, the Micro is not a true 1911 style other than they call it 1911-ish. Uh, 
And finally, even though the barrel lengths are the same, there is a significant difference in the sight radius. That's mainly because of the True Glow day-night sights on the Micro 9. The Kimber Ultra Carry, uh, this particular one has just plain old black sights, which I like for more precision shooting, although uh, yesterday didn't have that great of luck with it. We'll see how it works out today. These uh, on the Micro 9, particularly the Nightfall, uh, are uh, real high def front sight and um, the uh, the green modules and the the rear sight uh, work day and night and are really good for quick combat accuracy not quite so good for precision accuracy so enough talking about them let's see how they shoot Kimber Micro 9 target on the left 124 grain American Eagle we'll see how this works today That was me. I pulled that one. All right, let's try the Ultra Carry right hand target again, American Eagle 124s. Pulled that one too. Must have had too much coffee this morning. Kimber Ultra Carry 9mm, Kimber Micro 9 Nightfall. They work at 15 yards on paper. Let's take them over to the steel and see how they work there. Kimber Micro 9 Nightfall, Kimber Ultra Carry 2 9mm. They work pretty good on paper. Let's see if they can actually hit some steel on rider's range. Micro 9, 12 yards. This is using a modified SIG 938 magazine. Let's see how they work. Very interesting. And that's with ball ammunition. Never had problems with this gun before. It's lubed, it's cleaned. Let's see what happens. Well, not real impressed yet. Let's, uh, See how the Ultra Carry works on the same plates. No complaints about the Ultra Carry. Let's see if we can we'll try this one out of a Kimber magazine and see if we have any better luck than we did with the SIG, and so far, not real promising. Silhouette first. 12 inch. Eight inch next to it. And the 10 inch. Let's try the other eight inch. And the other 10 inch finally. And back to the 12. All right, so far that one's working. How about the Ultra Carry 2? All right, now that didn't go in, and that is out of a Wilson magazine, oh, which is something with this Federal American Eagle ammo. It shouldn't be, it's been good ammo. Try it again. That worked better. All right, sticking with 25 yards.
Nope. That was me. There we go. Alright, let's try it at 50. And see if I can actually wring some steel with these at 50 yards. And again, we'll start with the micro. This time I'm just going to use a standard flush. Uh, it's a SIG mag, but let's see how it works. With the silhouette first. Now the 12 inch next to it. Ah, am I good enough to try a 10? Let's give it a try. And it works. How about the other 10? And back to the silhouette. Ah, pulled that one to the left. Try it again. There we go. And finally, let's try the Ultra. These are uh, Trip Research Cobra mags. See if they work any better than that Wilson did. Ah, pulled that one down. That's better. Don't know why it's not hitting that 12. Gotta be me. Well, so far the Micro 9 is looking a little better. Kimber, Micro 9 Nightfall, Kimbra Ultra Carry 2. Similar guns, slightly different purpose. One's going to be a really good pocket gun, and actually has been. The other's been a good belt carry gun. They each have their own purpose, and a little bit different, but still somewhat similar. Quick review of the two guns on Rider's Range. If you like this video, we appreciate the thumbs up. Tune into uh, our website, www.ridersrange.com, for a playlist of what's coming up. And if you like these, uh, please subscribe. Please Click on notifications and stay tuned for what's coming next at Rider's Range. Works on the same plates. No complaints about the Ultra Carry.